So in this proof by induction, I'll be trying to prove that 3 to the n is less than n factorial for any integer, for any integer that is greater than 6. So another common uh, use for um, proofs by induction is showing that something is showing an equality uh, for a certain range of, of integers. Uh, obviously, they need to be integers because that's 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 the scope of induction. It 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 uh, sort of covers integers and, and not real numbers. But it's very common to see uh, proofs by induction dealing with inequalities. Uh, so the the steps aren't different. It's just sort of the process that's that's a bit different from, say, a, a summation, a summation induction, or a summation that needs to be proved by a proof by induction. So um, I'll, I'll guide you through this one. Okay, so uh, my first step for in a proof by induction is my basis step. Okay, so basis step. In other words, in other words, my basis step is trying to prove this statement. This statement, which by the way I can call p n, trying to prove p n for the lowest possible, uh, the the lowest possible value uh, value of n, right? So. Uh, in this case, n is strictly greater, right? This isn't a greater than or equal, it's strictly greater. So the first applicable value of n uh, that would work in this case, in, in this statement pn, would actually be 7. So my smallest value, my base case, is actually n equals 7, okay? And uh, and so now we, we need to check that, okay? So 3 to the 7, 3 to the 7. So 3 to the 7 is 2, 1, 8, 7. And uh, 7 factorial is 5,040. So you can obviously just plug it in uh, in, uh, in a calculator. That's that's what I did. Okay. So clearly, clearly this one's bigger than this one. So I can say that 7 factorial is greater than 3 to the 7. And therefore, P to the 7 is, uh, is true. Uh, so I've proved my base case, base case. Okay, okay. Now the second part of the proof is the inductive step. So this is actually where it gets kind of tricky. So inductive, inductive step. My inductive step. Okay. So in my inductive step, I first assume. So I first assume, assume that p then is true. So I assume p then is true. Is true. I.e., I'm assuming that I'm assuming that uh, that three to the n is less than n factorial. Okay. So that's that's my assumption. Now, what I want to prove. So my goal, my goal, is to prove p n plus one. In other words, it's to prove that prove that 3 to the n plus 1 is less than n plus 1 factorial. So what we can do here is, um, well, yeah, in this case, you, you're a bit confused. Like, you don't really know where to start with. Do I start with this side or this side? You can, you can kind of start with both. What I think is easier, though, what I think is easier is to start with the, this, this side. And, and you'll see why in a bit. Because you can actually you can actually rewrite my left hand side. So so I'll start with my left hand side. Okay. So um, LHS is equal to three to the n plus one. And we know that we know that this is just equal to three times three to the n. Okay. So I'm already going to use my inductive step. I'm going to use the fact that three to the n is less than n factorial. Because this is this is this is assumed. So. So so now don't put don't put well, don't do what I just did don't put an equal sign put a less than less than equal sign so three times n factorial okay and three times n factorial well what we can say from this and you'll probably find this a bit a bit sort of a bit sort of confusing at first so first of all this is my inductive step. step um, so what I can do now remember what I want to get at I want to get at something well I want to get at something that looks like this so um, 
in my head, when I'm trying to think, I'm saying, okay, what does n plus 1 factorial look like? Well, n plus 1 factorial can also be written as n factorial times n plus 1, okay? Okay, well, um, I have my n factorial here. Now, I just need to show that 3 is less than n plus 1. Now, how do I do that? Well, well, I know, I know in the question, I know that it's given that n is greater than 6, okay? So if n is greater than 6, if n is greater than 6, then n is necessarily greater than 3, right? Because, so this is an aside, aside. If n is greater than 6, and 6 is greater than 3, well, then n is necessarily greater than 3, right? That's, that's, that's obvious, okay? So what I can say, what I can say is that this thing here, this thing is smaller than my n, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write this, this is less than n times n factorial, okay? So this is a very sort of, this is a critical part of the proof. If you don't see this, then you'll, you'll just be stuck and you, you won't know what to do. So this is, this is a, a sort of a standard way of trying to solve an inequality. You, you try to see how you can get to this thing here, okay? So I have my three, okay? And I wanna get to something that has an n. Well, I know that n is greater than six because it's given. Um, so n is greater than six because it's given. And here I have a three. So I can automatically say, because six is greater than three, that n times something is greater than three times that same something, right? Because, so because because n greater than six, okay? Okay, now I, I, need to, I need to get at one last thing. If, if n, so this is another aside, if, um, so if n is an integer, if n, well, I know that n is greater than six, right? So n is positive, okay? And n is an integer. So if n is greater than six, then n plus one, is necessarily going to be greater than n, right? Because n plus 1 is going to be n plus 1. So if I go here, if I add plus 1 on both sides, n plus 1 is going to be greater than 7. So so that means that, that, means that my n plus 1 is also a positive integer. My n is a positive integer. But my n plus 1 is an integer right after n. That means that n plus 1 is greater than n. So I can write that. So, so from that sort of reasoning, I can write that that n times something is, is smaller. Or in other words, n plus 1 times something is greater than n times that same something. So greater than n plus 1 times that same something. Because because I can say that, because I can say that n plus 1 is greater than n, since n is a positive, positive integer. Actually, you can say this, you can say this just because n is a, is an, it wouldn't really matter if it was positive or not. n is a uh, integer. Uh, would it matter? N, no, it wouldn't matter. Yeah, okay. Since n is an integer. And so, so what I what I started with, I started with my left hand side. So I started with three n plus one, and what I got, at, I got at three, uh, three n plus one, and through these steps. So if three n plus one is equal to three times, three times three to the n, and that's smaller than this, and that's smaller than this, and that's smaller than this, then sort of implicitly that means that implicitly, implicitly, implicitly. This means, so implicitly, this means that, that 3 to the n plus 1 is less than n plus 1 n factorial, n factorial. And I know that that's just equal to n plus 1, plus 1 factorial. So what I, what I have is I have 3 to the n plus 1 is less than n plus 1 factorial. So I've proven, so I've proven p n plus 1 and so therefore therefore by by induction by induction 
pn pn which is just a statement that pn which is just a statement that n factorial is greater than 3 to the n for n greater than 6 where, where n belongs to the integers so that statement pn pn is true okay and that completes my proof by induction